2349B1 and 2. Everything he wanted, a farm of good land, but he only wished to have a time in the woods of Michigan. He started for Bay City, and his way slowly bent. He hired with the lumbering king for the woods at Pekin Line. He worked a long, three long months, and oft times did write home, saying, Soon the winter will be o'er, and then I will come home. He rose one morning from his bunk. No smile did break his brow. He called his chum outside the door, whose name was Charlie Lloyd, saying, Charlie, dear, I had a dream which filled my heart with woe. I fear there's something wrong at home. It's there I ought to go. His comrade only laughed at him, which cheered him for a while, saying, Harry, dear, it's time we'd go. It's time we'd fall the plane. They worked away till ten o'clock along that fatal day when a hanging limb fell down on him, which crushed him to the clay. His comrades gathered round him to take the limb away. Think, Charlie, you'll come down with me. You'll take my body down. You'll ask my dear old mother what made me leave my home. The next morning, the coffin was brought down, containing all that was left on earth of poor young Harry Dunn. His mother, when she saw him, she fell down like a stone. The poor old aged father, he lingered for a while, but never, never afterward, he never was known to smile. In the space of three months after, they buried the poor old man. So now you see the deadly curse on the woods of Michigan. <laughs> 